So, I've always wanted to make a little cinematic short of the Tomcat, like a high-speed, low-altitude bombing run, where I come in from the mountains, drop bombs on a FARP, and then fly off down the valley all at treetop height. And I figure I could record the first pass in the cockpit live as I go, and then save the track file and play that back multiple times, and get different external shots, different angles of the plane, different angles of the FARP, stuff blowing up. Figured it would probably be a lot of fun, really cool, and I could make something neat with it. But the problem is, as many of you know, especially those of you who own the Tomcat, these track files tend not to play back the way they played out. So I've designed a little mission today, and we're going to watch it first time, played live and recorded with OBS. And then we're going to watch it again, played back in the track file, because it makes for some interesting and often frustrating results, and makes that sort of endeavor nearly impossible. I'd basically need to get a friend to fly and record him doing things because the track files typically aren't very helpful. So anyway, here we go. Enjoy. Jester, select bombs. Yep. Jester, set fuse nose tail. Roger. Jester, set ripple quantity 28. Roger. Jester, set ripple time 100. Jester, drop in pairs. Jester, think Swedish. <sighs> Seriously, dude? All right, all right. But do you at least like our helmets? Yes, sir. Autobots, roll out. Yeah, not quite, but good try. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could watch that again, but from a camera on the ground where you watch the plane fly overhead and all the bombs fall off and everything blows up? I mean, I think so. So I played back that track file four individual times, and here's what happened. So there you have it, the reason that you don't see more picture-in-picture -picture or external shots in my videos, because I can't rely on the track files. Each time you play them back, they do something different. Most of the time, it seems like the plane is doing what it's supposed to do, but it started 10 feet to the left, or half a mile to the right, and because of that, it crashes into the ground when it should have flown nicely between something. And then other times, the plane just decides to climb into the sky and do loop-de-loops instead of whatever it was you were doing. Either way, you can only fight with them for so long before you just kind of give up and rely on whatever you recorded live in the moment. <laughs> 